Good morning, everyone, to the Quantum Leap pre-market morning leap. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Uh, each morning we come together to take a look at the uh, structure of the market, the macro, the micro, in terms of trends. Uh, then we drill down and uh, pick our trade levels and our targets and our hypotheses for the day. If you are interested in finding out more about our room, please contact me at quantumleaptrading at gmail.com or give me a call 647-545-8065. All right, before we get going, just have to do the disclaimer. This information is for the purpose of educating members who want to expand their knowledge of the business of trading. It's not for trading or investment advice. You, only, you are responsible for the trades or investment decisions you make. Trading futures or an instrument involves risk loss. Please consider carefully whether futures or, uh, or options are appropriate to financial situation. Only risk capital should be used when trading futures or options. Investors could lose more than initial investment. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results in any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence and your own trade metric, metrics. Okay. So just uh, let's get the news out of the way. Uh, uh, today is the second day of Jackson Hole, of course. Uh, so we still have risk all day uh, coming out, uh, any news coming out from there. Uh, we had uh, uh, Canadian RMPI and IPP. Uh, they came out, uh, well, kind of mixed bag, uh, a little worse than expected. Uh, uh, trade goods in U.S. Uh, came out at minus 59, uh, a little bit better than minus 62 uh, last time. Core index came out as expected. Personal spending came out pretty much as expected, and personal income came out uh, pretty much expected. Big news will, today will be the uh, revised University of Michigan consumer sentiment and inflation is coming out at 10 o'clock. So be careful with the news today. Um, it is Friday. Now, we're currently trading right now at 1977. Um, our uh, open of the month is 2098.75, and our ATR, our 20-day average true range, is running 40.88. So we've got two days left of trading today and on Monday. So I think we're pretty much going to see critical mass here. Uh, so we have to be worried that the uh, buyers might capitulate and uh, step aside late this afternoon, maybe Monday, and we get a rotation down. But most of our levels are gonna stay very much where they were yesterday. Uh, key level uh, today, of course, is gonna be uh, this 58, and the critical level, or the line in the sand for lower price discovery, is gonna be 49, uh, 49.50. That's not going to change. Uh, we do have the gap and go. You know, yesterday played out pretty much what we were expecting, except for that rip down uh, uh, in the afternoon and then totally rip right back up again. So don't know where that came from. Came out of the blue, uh, but overall we were expecting a rotational day with an upside bias to come inside and test the uh, the. Uh, significant breakout candle if we stayed above 58 and we did uh, for most of the day and then we had that you know that real severe push down uh, you know in the afternoon but they bought it right back up it was a great big huge V pattern but we'll get into that uh, to begin with let's start with uh, our normal routine and go through where we are in the trends you can see that even though the trend has been violated on the monthly, we're coming up and we're uh, getting close to being back above the 20 SMA. And you can see the last time we had a similar rollover pattern back here, uh, back in 2011, they, they rolled over, they sold off, and then they closed back above the, excuse me, <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, they closed above the uh, the 20 SMA for the month, um, but then the next month they went down and uh, and tested the lower wick. They went back and got stuck in the wick, 
and then they finally popped up and then continued the trend. Uh, so this is a possible pattern that we can look for on the monthly, but right now the trend has been uh, violated. We're losing slope and separation. We're trading below the nine and the 20. So the trend is, you know, is uh, being challenged on the monthly. On the weekly, uh, of course, we, you know, we had that head and shoulder pattern on the weekly. We hit all our targets to the downside uh, on on that tar on on that head and shoulder pattern. Um, now we've popped back up, and uh, we have, still have a technical gap uh, up here. So we still need to come up and close this gap uh, somewhere in the uh, 2000s. Right now, I've got a target uh, uh, from. Uh, a measured move up at 2033, uh, which is you know just below the current nine EMA at 2046. So I uh, still think we're going to get a little bit of upside action. Uh, you know, if not this week, maybe next week. Going down to but the trend itself, we do have a start of a downward trend on the weekly. On the daily, we had that Fubar, Mr. Sneaky again. Pay attention to these FUBAR Mr. Sneakies uh, on any time frame. You can see we came down, had the FUBAR, big huge volume spike, inside bar. What happens? We rotate back up and close the tech gap. And the tech gap was created by the FUBAR. So currently right now, we've come up and tested the nine uh, on the daily. We've rejected it so far today. We do have the start of a uh, trend down, but so far they've uh, we've got slope. Uh, I mean, we've got separation, but we're losing slope right here on the nine. So we could be challenging the downward trend on the daily. On the four hour, going to the intraday to check where we are in the different time frames coming into uh, the RTH session. Uh, we've got an upward trend. There is a naked cross right here at uh, 1916 on the four hour. So that will get closed at some point in time, uh, but this is a four hour pattern. We do have a bit of a upward trend. We've created a technical gap, came back, closed the technical gap, and uh, so far the trend is still intact on the four hour. Going to the 30 minute, well there's a, also a naked cross. Um, I was going to show you this naked cross on the uh, on the one hour, but it just got closed out while we're while I was getting set up. So that naked cross on the one hour is negated, but there is one still. No, it's not on the it's not on the one hour. It's on the 30 minute. Oh, before I go to that, uh, the one hour you can see the upward trend has been uh, halted. We've rolled back over. We're now trading below the 20, but just above the nine, and we've got sideways consolidation. So no, uh, no trend right now on the one hour. Going down to the 30 minute, we did have this downward trend, uh, but they've popped back up above the nine and the 20. Uh, starting to get a bit of a rollover here, possibly to the upside. Um, but no real trend intact. There is a naked cross all the way down here, gang, uh, down at 1950 uh, on the uh, 30 minute. This one got closed out and no other ones uh, within the vicinity. Going down to the 15 minute, we do have a naked cross right here, 1973.75. Um, but so far, you know, we're just, you know, we had consolidated, we, uh, uh, we came down, we had a downward trend, they challenged it, they uh, violated it, and now we're above the 9 and the 20, and a possible start of an upward trend if we hold above this, uh, this 20 SMA. We're likely to come down here and, uh, and test the 73.74 uh, area again and close out that naked cross. This one you can see uh, from that was created in that rally uh, in the late afternoon was closed out overnight. And there's still one down here. And again, these ones are probably not going to get taken out uh, today, but it is a possibility down here at 1941.75. Uh, 
and going to the five minute five minute we do have an upward trend started here uh, and there's no real naked crosses above us I don't think no this one got closed out there are a couple below us all the way down here this one right here at uh, 1966 so those are the naked crosses that we're looking at currently we've got a trend going we are losing a little bit of slope on this uh, and we're kind of going sideways in a symmetrical uh, uh, triangle here on the five minute uh, but no real trend intact there so going to the big picture um, again I'm going to be watching the 77 area uh, 77 is an LVN from overnight, and just above it is the uh, is the CLVN here at 77. Above there, I'm looking for rotation rotation back up into uh, the 7950, uh, possibly come up and test this 80. Anything above 80, I'm looking for continuation and a move towards the uh, the uh, upper distribution and the uh, and the break above uh, yesterday's high up here at the 92 and continuation um, if we get in hold below 77 then I think we work our way back down into the 74 uh, area 73 our overnight VPOC is currently 1973 um, and then 6650 We've got that naked cross there at 66, so I'd be looking for them to challenge that. And below that, then I'm looking for a move back down into this 58. And if we get below the uh, the 58, I think we're gonna, you know, get stuck in this wick right here between the 38, possibly even 31, 34 area, uh, and challenge you just, you know challenge this 49.50. 49.50 is my key line in the sand. Below that, I'm looking for a bigger move down. Our 20-day ATR downside target right now is down at 1931 and a quarter. And that's just below this three-day microcomposite uh, VPOC at 1933 and just below the CHVN at 32.50. So, you know, below 49, uh, I'm looking for uh, further continuation down to break the low from uh, yesterday and come down and test some of these uh, lower levels uh, in this multiple distribution area around the uh, microcomposite VPOC. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the overnight. You can see if I bring this to the front, oh, the VPOC is now shifted up to 74. Keeps going back and forth. 1974. Um, so our overnight VPOC is here at 74. Coming down now, come on. Coming down to, uh, to test it uh, again. Uh, this is the LVN that I'm talking about right here uh, at the 77 and a, you know, 77 and a quarter. Um, is it 77 and a quarter? They just did a little bit of fill in. It looks like, yeah, 77 and a quarter. And then the you know the HVN up here is at 79. This is the the VPOC was up here at 79 and a quarter. Uh, or 79, I should say, uh, earlier, uh, you know, during the uh, overnight session. Um, but currently, we're coming right back into overnight value at uh, 74. Our overnight low is down here at uh, 67. Uh, 67 and a quarter, right at the uh, at the Midpoint from yesterday's uh, profile, our overnight high is at 92, what was it, 92.75. Come on. And there's really not much other information that we can uh, we can gleam. We do have a little bit of LVN right here at uh, 1971. 
and that's right just above the uh, the VWAP from yesterday. So I'm going to use the VWAP rather than the LVN. It happens to be the LVN and the value area low uh, so far in the Globex. Again, we still have time uh, you know, left that these levels uh, can change. This could shift. The VPOC could shift again to 73. So we'll have to keep an eye on, on that. So that's out of there. Span that out. So right now, uh, 77 is going to be a trade area for me. 70, uh, 77, 75. Because that is going to put us above this LVN and above this uh, the CLVN and give us a shot at coming up into uh, this 83, 82, 83 area. 83, 50 is the uh, is the uh, value area high from yesterday, and we closed above the value area. So if we get above 77, 75, I think you got a strong trade, and I would be targeting and uh, also using the uh, 83.50 as a trade area uh, and a target. So I'd be getting long above 77, 75, and then trading into 83, if we get above 83, then I'm looking for them to uh, hit continuation and go up and hit the uh, naked close here at 89 and a quarter. And then above 90, see it's so blunt up here. There's nothing you know, very, very blunt in this area of the profile, all the way down to the 77, really. The only thing that really jumps out is that 79.50 CHVN. Um, so I'll use the breakout of the day at 90 and a quarter to take out the overnight high and pop up into 95, but really I'm watching this 99. We get back into the upper 90s, I think we're gonna pop up and uh, take, out, you know, take out the 61.8 retracement, and that's going to be a test of the 2000, and then we're either we either fail off of that and come back down, or we break through the 2000 and we pop up to hit uh, the 2004 uh, CHVN. Um, I would target 2250 as a micro composite VPOC, so I would put a target there for scaling uh, at uh, 2250. And then I moved up into this uh, 2004 and a quarter. Uh, and then just above there is our 20-day uh, ATR target to the upside from the overnight low at uh, 67 and a quarter. So if we get up into get break out of value, break out of range, I'm looking for continuation up to uh, take out some of these upper numbers. Remember 95. Uh, is it 95 and a quarter? Just give me a second here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. 95 and a quarter is the 50% uh, uh, retracement of the significant breakout candle. I always watch uh, the 50% of a 50, uh, of a breakout candle, and that's at 95 and a quarter, just above the uh, naked VPOC here. And then targets when we get into the 2000s, we've got the uh, the 2000 and uh, 875, which is right there at the ATR target. So this could get some resistance there, but above it, we've got the uh, 1150. That's also a micro composite VPOC and a CHVN. And then just above that, uh, we've got the 19, uh, you know, CHVN. Um, I'll use that as target and a trade area uh, at 19. And then above that, we've got the naked close at 24.75. A little bit of resistance here at 26.75. Uh, Remember the low on this day right here is 24.50 as well. So that's uh, you know uh, the naked close. We close right at the low of the day and uh, we might pop in there. Above the 26.75, then we're getting into the other significant breakout candle, and I have a measured move right now at 20.33.
We've got the 30 and a quarter as a target as well. And then resistance in here at 36.75 and, uh, you know, continue at a key continuation up. Um, this is an old key line in the sand. So is this. Well, this is going to change to a key line in the sand for upper prices because that's that 2059 uh, uh, value area low or CLVN that's just below the, the, the value area low. But I don't think we're going to get uh, that high today. Uh, I think we're going to, you know, the, uh, the ranges are tightening. Uh, if you want to call yesterday's range, RTH range 67.50 tightening. The full session range was still 92 uh, and a half. Uh, overnight range was 29.50. So the ranges are starting to, uh, to tighten up uh, again, if you want to call these uh, huge days uh, tight. Uh, to the low side, below 77, of course, we're targeting the 73. We're already there. Um, just below that, we've got the 69 and a quarter and the 7050. The 7050 is going to be a trade area for me. Uh, if we bounce off of it, take the long end to 74 uh, with continuation to test the other side up there at the 77. Uh, 75, but if we break below the 70, then I'm looking for a takeout of the overnight low and a test of the uh, the midpoint with continuation to come down here to 64. I thought we were going to see 64, uh, you know, during the uh, the uh, Globex session, but they halted. I actually have a target here and an order working at 67, believe it or not, and they I uh, should have front run it, and they came down and. Uh, missed me by two ticks. Um, and then below, once we're down below the VWAP and below the 70 area, um, you know, we're in this distributions, um, double distribution zone right there. There is a CLVN right here at 66. Um, so you have to worry about them coming down and possibly finding responsive uh, uh, buyers here at 66.50, just, you know, after they take out the overnight low. I think it's going to be rather weak because if we get in here, the 64 is quite pronounced, uh, and I think they'll come down and test that, and we'll be inside of, you know, we'll be still inside. We're going to open up inside a range and inside of vol, uh, value if we stay in this area. I think we come down and test this value area low here at uh, 61 uh, and a half. And then my key line in the sand, uh, uh, my first one is going to be the 68. I'm sorry, 58. And then below 58, I'm looking for a move down to the, uh, the first target is going to be this lower HVN where they uh, found uh, some value, and uh, that's going to be at 55 and a quarter. And then 52 and a quarter. And then, you know, the big one for me is going to be this, uh, this 49.50. And if we get below 49, then I'm looking for them to take out the range low. And then my target down here is 41. Forty-one, the naked close at thirty-eight, and then we've got uh, thirty-seven, right below it, and then there's this thirty-four uh, fifty, but again, 
I think the, the big target down here is going to be this 33. Uh, this is the next big target below. Um, and then we've got, and that's still within the 20-day ATR range because our uh, ATR uh, down, ATR 20-day ATR downside target is uh, 1931 and a quarter. And then below that, we've got uh, this 30. It's 29.75. And if we break that, then we've got 28, a little bit of support at 26.75. It gets pretty tight in this area, uh, and I think we're going to get a lot of chop in this area, as I was saying. Um, and then below there, 22.75. And then the big, uh, the next big support is going to be down here at this uh, 2075. And below 2075, then I'm looking for a test of these uh, lower levels in the 1900. I actually think that they're going to come down uh, and break below 1900 again. The big one will be this 1894 uh, below. Um, not sure if we'll get down there today. Uh, I'm using 58 as my warning line uh, to tell me that we could come down lower, but I'm, if we break below that 49.50, then I really think we're going to see a break of the uh, range low and a move back into the microcomposite uh, uh, down here. And that 41.50 is also the value area high, just above that 41 target. So I'm going to move that 41 target up to 4150. All right, so that's what I'm looking at. So my main hypothesis, this is a very, very sick looking uh, profile. It needs a lot of repair. We went through this whole level on the way down. Look at this V pattern I was talking about. This is a very strong V pattern. And if you want to measure this V pattern, uh, you know, it's going to be that measured move that I was talking about. Um, and, you know, these are generally very strong continuation uh, patterns, uh, but we've broken back down below and uh, we're, we've got a lot of repair to do in the size. So look for a lot of rotations uh, in this area between the uh, value at 61 and uh, and 83. I would even I would use 77. So um, we might pop up the 77, go and fail off the uh, value area, come right through value again, and then rotate right back through again. I think we're going to see some wide rotations uh, today in the first uh, you know hour or so of trading. So be careful. Uh, it's going to be. I think it's going to be one of those uh, tough days again. And uh, you know, yesterday, I could, you know, I don't know what's been going on, but it's been a struggle. I keep digging myself in a hole, and then, you know, by the end of the day, I'm, you know, I'm back up again. Uh, what did I end up with yesterday? 14 and a quarter points after all of that on a lot of trades, and uh, you know, took half my profit in commissions. Um, Taking a look at the Keltner right now, our Keltner center line is 76.75, so that's just below that 77. Our 24-hour uh, VWAP is right there as well. That's why that's a key level uh, this morning. Uh, down to the lower Keltner right now is going to take us down into that uh, VWAP from yesterday, uh, you know, in the 70, 75, 71 uh, area. If we get above the 77, then you got that move to 82 for the upper Keltner. So you can see how the Keltner channel fits within all these uh, different levels. Take a quick look at gold, and then we'll wrap it up. Gold has uh, come down here and finding some balance. Uh, gold has come down here and finding some balance. Uh, right here in around the uh, 20, can't read, 
25 area. Uh, value area high is uh, 29. Um, we kind of filled in that uh, CLVN that we had at 29.40. Uh, below us now we've got 22. Uh, break below that. I look for them to come down. I think we're going to come down and test this uh, this uh, you know 1116 area again, uh, just with the weakness that we're seeing. Uh, but if they break above 1133, look for a move up into 37 and 45. Um, and if they break above the uh, the 48, then we're back inside of this. Uh, value area, and we'd be looking for a bigger move up into the 54 and the uh, 59 area. That's what I'm looking at in gold. I'm staying out of gold today because I can't build a swing position. I don't want to hold it uh, over the weekend because I don't have enough time to uh, to build uh, a large enough position. So that's it. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we will catch you on the flip side.